Hi, I'm Steve Schweitzer. The robots are coming. I'll take a look at the latest robotic vacuums on Steve's Tech Talk. Meet Roby, the newest member of our family. For the new year, we broke down and bought a robotic vacuum cleaner. Meet Ghost. Slow down. He's another member of our family. We absolutely love him, but he sheds a lot. This is what our kitchen floor looks like after a few days without vacuuming. I'm in the kitchen today because that's where Ghost lives and his hair really piles up in here. The first consideration is price. They start at around $200 and the top of the line comes in at almost 2000 bucks. Another differentiator is the robot's mapping technologies. Some, like the entry-level Roomba, just bump their way around in a random pattern. My brother-in-law has one and he loves it. The Roborock that we bought actually maps the rooms. The size of the dustbin is another important consideration. Vacuums like ours that cost under $500 come with a relatively small bin. We have to empty ours every time we run the vacuum. When the price approaches $1,000, the vacuums come with a dock that automatically offloads the dirt. Some claim to hold almost a month's worth of dust. Most of these robots just vacuum, but a few also mop the floor. When our Roborock arrived, I held onto the shipping box because I expected to have to return it. We fired it up and off it went. Starting room cleaning. It started out by mapping the rooms on our ground floor. With the phone app, I could even watch its progress. First big surprise was how well it navigated. Even finding its way around the chairs and discovering a path underneath our dining room table. We were also impressed with how well it sucked up the long hair from our dog. It has made a huge difference in cleaning up the dog hair. It's not perfect. It can't reach into really tight corners and it doesn't handle the tassels on some of our rugs. I also wish I didn't have to empty the bin every time I use it, but I'm too cheap to spend a thousand dollars on a vacuum. Some things you need to consider before introducing a new member to your family. He was definitely freaked out. You can see why he thinks it's stalking him. Now, we only run it when we're around. And He's learned to get out of its way. Another thing we hadn't counted on is the vacuum requires a foot and a half of unobstructed wall space on either side. That's a pretty big chunk of wall space. We love the way the Roborock cleans, but it's a relatively new product and Sheila's got one big complaint about the software. I was shocked to find out it won't do two floors of the house. What kind of a vacuum sweeper only cleans one floor of a house? Hopefully, that's a problem they'll solve with an update to the software. In the meantime, I'm getting rid of those shipping boxes. There's no way we're sending Roby back. For Great Day TV, I'm Steve Schweitzer.